I'm fine. This is Valder Beebe, and you're live on the Valder Beebe Show. I want to thank you so much, Madeline, for joining us. You're a health and nutrition expert and an author. You can tell us a little bit about Don't Eat This if you're taking that. I love that title. Well, if you love that title, you will love this book because it's sort of one-stop shopping if you take any kind of prescription or over-the-counter medicine. Because what many people don't know is that certain foods that are perfectly healthy when combined with particular medicines can actually put your, your health at risk. And you can either have too much of this medicine or not enough of the medication you're taking when you combine it with certain foods. And surprisingly, you would think, wouldn't this book be around? Uh, why wouldn't somebody have written this before? And when we looked at this, we said, gee, there's nothing out there that's one-stop shopping to say, here's my medicine and what food should I avoid so my medicine will work as directed as my doctor intended. And that's the big thing because we don't even know these things are hidden risks. When you say mixing uh, medications with certain things, aren't our pharmacists or our doctors telling us about this? You know, you ask such a great question in saying, well, how come our doctors don't know this or even the pharmacist? It's a really hard area to get accurate information. There's so much floating around about what you should mix or not mix. There's not a lot of science that's been studied until we went to find this out. Doctors don't have a lot of this information and we'll say, oh, ask the pharmacist. Sometimes the pharmacist is busy or doesn't have the information at his or her fingertips. And so you need to be an empowered consumer and find out for yourself. So know which of your medications you take and then what you shouldn't mix. I mean, popular things like cholesterol lowering drugs that, that millions and millions of people take. Many people don't know you should not mix grapefruits or grapefruit juice with these for most of these cholesterol-lowering drugs, the statins. But if you're a grapefruit lover and saying, that's just too hard for me, there are some options. For example, a newer statin called Crestor is something that mixes well with, with grapefruit juice. So always talk to your doctor. And maybe an important message is, don't just stop taking your medicine saying, I'm not giving up any of my foods. You know, I don't care you know, what, what I need to do. But you do want to talk to your doctor if you find that a food and medicine is not agreeing with you. Because a lot of times we'll also be taking a medicine and thinking, gee, there's side effects or, you know, it's not agreeing with me. And it could actually be as simple as some of the foods that you're combining from grapefruits to dark green leafy vegetables like kale and spinach or even something as simple as garlic. What about, let's talk about blood pressure, since there's so many people with high blood pressure. Right, right. Are there any, any do's and don'ts for them in the book? You know, a lot of things, especially with a lot of blood pressure medicines, you want to certainly limit or avoid alcohol altogether. And you think, well, what possible difference could that make? You know, alcohol is relaxing you or acting on your brain, but actually it acts all over the body. And the way that blood pressure often is regulated is through the brain, and that's where alcohol will act as well. So if you're taking a blood pressure lowering medicine, you really want to be careful of alcohol um, and consume it in moderation, if at all. And that actually means not the size of your glass, but a 12 ounce beer or a shot of hard spirits or five ounces of wine. So that's something that's often confusing to people. And especially certain uh, blood pressure medications are affected by grapefruit as well. And that's because when you take medication, it kind of gets digested and broken down um, in the process of digestion in your stomach and intestines. And that's where uh, certain foods are as well. And grapefruits contain a compound that can actually block the natural breakdown of the medication, allowing it to get into your system. And so it can be way too much of a blood pressure medicine. This happens more often than you might think with people thinking, gosh, maybe this dose is too high or, you know, I'm getting a side effect and wondering what's the problem. And it could be something as simple even as grapefruit. Carolyn, this is one of the best conversations I've had in quite a while, and I have great conversations with people like you. I love the fact that you're telling us what not to do and what to do. The book is full of all of these kind of um, uh, requirements. Give me one more if you have time, a little bit of time. We're still under our time limit. Give me one more, something like pain relievers. 
Okay. Even with pain relievers, alcohol is sort of the biggest one. And we think, oh, that should probably help relax us. But it does really the opposite. So especially with pain reliever, relievers, whether it's just over the counter, you know, things like Tylenol or aspirins or something that's prescription, you need to be the most careful with alcohol. But one thing, since we have a little time, is that we often don't think about dietary supplements as something that is separate. We think dietary supplements, oh, that's kind of like food. So it doesn't matter that I'm taking them. But beware that if you use something like garlic or onions, cooking with them is fine, but otherwise you want to limit that. We're going to wrap it up with health and nutrition expert Madeline, and she's going to tell us how to find out more information. But before I go to Madeline, I want to let you know I've got her book and I'm giving it away. So if you go to our Facebook page, ValderBBShow.com, and like the page, we're giving away a copy of her book, Don't Eat This If You're Taking That, The Hidden Risk of mis Mixing Food and Medicine. All right, Madeline, Madeline wrap us up. Would you lo what would you like them to know? You gave us some great information. I think, you know, you can do it. You can be an informed consumer that if you take a prescription medicine or over-the-counter, take a look at this book and make sure that you are doing everything you can to manage your illnesses and take your medication the right way. And you can get this book at bookstores everywhere or on Amazon.com or BarnesandNoble.com. Do you have a website where they could find more about you? Oh, yes, it is. It's DrMadelineFernstrom.com. Thank you so very much. I really appreciate it, and thanks for the great health and nutrition information. You're welcome. Thank you.